오늘 여보가 한국 고구마 파이 만들 거예요. Is that weird for you to call me that? Yeah. <웃음> So today I have three different types of sweet potatoes. Azaya was here with me and she's gonna help me cook the sweet potato pies. Azaya, do you know how to say sweet potato in Korean? Yes. How? Koguma. Yes, koguma. So we have our first type of sweet potatoes. These are the regular sweet potatoes that I would use to make a sweet potato pie. American or miku koguma. These are just your sweet potatoes that have uh, the orange inside. You know how my grandmother made sweet potato pies. These right here are purple on the inside. So what would we call these type of sweet potatoes, Azayo? Think about it, purple sweet potato. Poran koguma. Last are the Korean sweet potatoes that I'm gonna make today's Korean sweet potato pie with. And these are a reddish purple color uh, sweet potato. On the inside, they are the color white. How do you say white in Korean? <laughs> How do you say white in Korean? Hayanse. 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 Okay, so these are the ones we're going to be using today. So, first thing is we rinse them. So I'm gonna use some avocado oil and basically rub it all over our sweet potatoes. What this is basically gonna do is get them easier to peel once we put them in the oven and bake them. I like to call it de-ashing them. Basically, once these get cooked, we're just gonna peel the skin off and everything on the outside is just gonna come right on off. So the difference that I'm gonna make between my Korean sweet potato pie and a regular sweet potato pie. It's like when I eat a sweet potato pie, I like to eat it sweet, sweet, like so sweet, like a sweet, sweet sweet potato pie. When I'm making my sweet potato pie today, we're not gonna make it super sweet. We're gonna really not have as much sugar as the regular pies have. So let's put it in our oven. Come on. All right. And we're just gonna put it right, yep, right on the bottom. Careful, careful. Okay, and we're gonna put it in there for about an hour, hour, 30 minutes. A one hour and 30 minute timer called get the potatoes out of the oven. And we're starting now. <laughs> so while those sweet potatoes are cooking, we're gonna make the pie crust. I have two different types of flour here. So I have this all purpose flour, which is white flour. And then I went to the cream store and picked up some of their type of wheat flour. So I'm gonna use um, both to make two different pie crusts for the two different pies. So what yes. do we need? Brown sugar. We don't need brown, brown sugar. Because you said you're not gonna make the pie that sweet, so you should make the crust sweet. What else do we need to make the pie crust? Ice cold water. How do you say that in Korean, Joe? Arumbul. Arum? Arum, uh-huh. Arumbul? Arumbul. Arumbul. You don't have to be exact, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna dump mine in. I'm gonna make extra dough, maybe. That looks about right for what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of Crisco. You can do yours too. There you go. Okay, good. What's the difference between Crisco and butter? Well, butter is made out of like cow milk and curd and um, Crisco, I don't know what that's made out of, some type of oils. So I just like to chop my butter up a little bit. <gasps> oh no! Wait, before we do this, we have to add the salt and the sugar. <gasps> it's okay, right? We're doing everything all out of order. She's gonna be, sh I'm just gonna be, sh just put salt in there, salt to taste. Whatever you think, how much salt it needs, just throw it in there. Okay, you can can't go too wrong. Okay. And then you can put sugar on yours if you want to, but not a lot. Okay. I like mine a little bit saltier. After we whisk it up, then we can put in the butter. Crisco is less like, hard so you don't really have to take it apart that much. Exactly. And if I do have too much flour, Zaya, and you realize you have too much flour, you'll kind of know by how much your butter is. You can just add some more butter and some Crisco. I'm gonna make a powder out of this black sesame seeds. And went from this to the powder. I don't want it too low. I just want it like kind of sprinkled. It should be like this almost. Then we're just gonna add a little bit of water. Should I add a little bit more flour? Okay, can I get a little bit of ice water in my? That's enough, that's enough. Just roll it and press it together. You don't want it sticky like that, but we can fix that. I need to add more flour. Okay, fine, it's good. So does the dough feel different? Like, do you notice any texture differences from the American sweet potato pie that you usually make? No. 
I don't really know what the difference is, but I just thought it was cool because I had the Korean lettering on it. <laughs> this is perfect. This is good. Flower is your friend. You got it, Mazayo! This is perfect. Push it down like from here, from inside of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on your sides and everywhere. No, be careful, it's not like yours. Oh no, it's horrible. There's no way it's coming out. No. It's just it no. Just... Plan B. Just create it in here. my crust. Um, I'm done. It came out pretty good, I would say. My pie crust is done too. How does it look? My pie. You always look, mine looks so thin. So while you finish up there, I'm gonna check on the sweet potatoes. I can smell the aroma. Oh yeah, it smells good. Let's bring them over here. So we're just going to peel our sweet potatoes one by one get ready to mash them up and to put all of our fun ingredients in. Yikes, so left in there a little bit too long. Not like double dips. So for this recipe, you only really need two sweet potatoes. Smaller ones, probably four, but I like to make more. Just eat it afterwards, make little cupcakes for yourself. Both recipes call for garlic. Ginger. Oh yeah, ginger. Mm -hmm. Ginger, I love to put a little bit of ginger in my sweet potato pie. We're just gonna blend our ginger up with a little bit of ginger and what, milk? Next thing we gotta do is blend these potatoes up, mash these little potatoes up. My pie is gonna be like a creamy brown color, it looks like. You could use whipping cream or condensed milk. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Next, I'm gonna put in a whole stick of butter. Yum. Should I put in a whole stick? Let's put in a half a stick. We don't need a whole stick of butter. Ooh, I kind of like it thick like this. Is I was gonna put her butter in? See, yours is nice and gooey already. The next thing I'm gonna add is my vanilla ash. My mama always did it with the cap, so I just put a cap full and see what it tastes like. One step at a time. I'm putting my sugar in last. I like to know what my pie tastes like without sugar in it first. <gasps> Gotta have nutmeg in a Sweet potato pie, just a little dash, a couple of dashes. And then next, I'm gonna add ground cloves. Mmm. You put those in there? Yes, I put those in there. That's my little secret. Put just a little bit. Like, it's very overpowering. Maybe a little bit more. Mmm. And then people be like, what is that? Now you could add cinnamon, but I don't put cinnamon. So now I'm adding my cinnamon. Even though Ma doesn't want to, I'm just adding all my spices right now. I like ground cinnamon. It smells good. Oops. Before I add the sugar, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I always need salt to make it sweet. White sugar. I'm gonna go with a half a cup first. And then I'm gonna taste it. And you also need to add brown sugar. Where my clothes at? You want to taste it? Can I hmm. Very sweet. But I didn't put it in it yet. It's the ginger, so now I'm gonna add the ginger. I like the taste of the ginger, so use this finger. That's so good. I thought this was gonna be like a recipe video. This is this, a recipe video. This is just video. A experimentation. Ma, this is I how I make my sweet potato pies every single year. This is the recipe. Ma. A recipe is you do it to your taste. Not everyone's gonna like the same taste. Now I'm adding my egg. Two eggs. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be a bit more sweeter. I thought you wanted to honor the taste of the Korean sweet potato flavoring that you remember. But I like my grandma's sweet potato pie. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're going to do is make a glaze to go over top with some honey and a little bit of light sugar and some butter. Mm. So I'm gonna show you how to make it first and then you can make your own. So butter, 
a little bit of light brown sugar. Stir that up. It's gonna make a nice little glaze on top about that much honey. Oh, this is gonna be good. Try it a little bit. Oh yeah, see now? It's ready. Good as I am. Excellent. Preheat our oven to 350. Okay, that's ready. We're gonna put them in. Whoa! <laughs> I almost dropped it. No, 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 this is too burnt. You gotta take this out. Oh! That's burnt, that's burnt. Well, you have to let it sit. Just let it sit, cause it was- Oh, that looks good. How's it look? It looks like I need to toast it on top. I think this is done. Okay. I think it's done too. It looks like a flat book, right? Oh my God! No! Take that piece and put it right there. <laughs> what happened? Still looks good to me. This is like not funny to me, like in a even in a little bit. We're gonna let it sit. It's gonna taste fine. And that's how you make a Korean sweet potato pie. Now we are all finished with my our pies. This is the Korean pie. This is the soul food sweet potato pie. And we're gonna taste it. Who's gonna get the first piece? Me. A little bit of black sesame seeds on the top. It's not, it won't like, <laughs> oh no. no. That's good to me. Oh no. We gonna figure that whatever happened out with her first. So, <laughs> so you get the first taste test since I made it for you. Okay. Tastes good. You guys want to taste? Yes. You like the milder piece of that? No, it's nice. Yeah, it's like cool, lukewarm. Mm. Not lukewarm, but. Okay. It's very, very, very good. This one smells like, spicier. That's because she put cinnamon in it. Right, like spicy, mm -hmm. spicier. I like the Korean sweet potato pie because the, I guess the pairings of flavors is different. Well, the traditional one is more like nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves. It's a different kind of spicier. I like the taste of sweet potato even by itself because when I was younger, my grandparents would always just take aluminum foil, wrap up sweet potatoes, like Korean sweet potatoes, Put it in the fireplace yep. and then pull it out like mm -hmm. over logs. Mm -hmm. I just, saw that I'll in just a eat it like that. I like it burnt. Mm -hmm. That burnt really tinges up the flavor, if you know what I mean. Well, the OG sweet potato pie is obviously, if it had actual crush on it, it would be a 10 out of 10. Like actual, like noise. But right now it's like a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9? Yes, in Mars is probably like 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Sorry mm. if you're. Better. So you like the vanilla one better? Yes. Okay. Just because OJ, you know, just nice and OG. normal. OJ means original. OJ. OG. Personally, in my case, back in my day, we eat this southern one, you know. And I like that, I like that, but it's not cooked, number one. The joint needs to be cooked. It looks like baby food. That joint needs to be cooked. And this one, no, we ain't never had this in the southern now. We can, I don't know yeah, nothing about this, no Korean stuff, you know, no onion haseyo stuff. Oh my gosh. My onion God. opar, but for the effort, I would give it like a 10. And the taste, I would give it a like a seven because I can't really eat that much of it. You know, it's kind of heavy, it's a heavy with me. If there was a ginger in it, I'd give it 10 out of 10. I'd give it seven. This one, 4.5. Mm, I mean, since it's the short. first of its kind, I guess like a, a nine. Southern soul food, so you can get a pie or a Korean? Southern soul food. Which one, Southern soul food or Korean? Korean? The Korean one. I like the soul food because it's sweeter. I'm gonna have to pick the Korean because the Zyla's ain't cooked. Yeah. But I still like Southern. Can I have another slice? Please. Use Come the on. magic words. You have another slice, I made it for you. Oh, well then. <laughs> no. no. 